Another type of constraints is the project constraint. What we explained so far is the activity constraint, but we can also put constraint on the project overall. So if we go to projects, at the beginning of my tutorials, I gave one example if the project will take two years. So this would be the must finish by milestone. As a result, if we go to activities, you will find that there is a huge total float amount because I assumed that the project will take two years, but the duration only, the actual duration I have planned so far is 105 working day. So let's assume that this is my project finish. So I will adjust the project completion milestone to match the same completion date. So we'll go to projects. Must finish by, I go back to 2021. And 8th of December is my planned completion date. So the must finish by would be one day after the planned completion date, if you remember what I explained in my previous tutorial. Go to activities and run the program. So now we have zero because we have linked everything together so we don't actually have different paths because it's only tutorial but typically you will have other activities that has uh, paths as well so let's say that if the block work will start after the concrete directly of course logically is not correct but i'm just giving the example to understand the float and different paths so let's say the block work will start after the slab concrete of first floor So now the completion date will change because I reduced the critical path duration. So we have a new completion date. So 21st of November, 2021, if we go to projects and adjust the completion date, 22nd. The critical path now is first floor concrete work followed by the finishes, block work, etc. I have another path which has 13 days of float, which is the skeleton of the second floor. In real world, of course, it, it doesn't make sense. It's not logical. So superstructure should be on the critical path unless I have like eight floors the building, for example. So maybe I will have the superstructure halfway the building on the critical path, then the finishes. But I just wanted to adjust the logic so you will understand where the float will be coming from. This is the total float here reflected. So the purpose of this tutorial is to explain the project constraint, the overall project constraint, which I applied here.